Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch or Camp series on an introduction to torrents. In this segment, we're going to take a quick look at torrent clients. Keep in mind that a torrent is a special kind of download. The file isn't placed on a server and downloaded, so you can't download a torrent just from your web browser. A torrent is a peer-to-peer -peer or user-to-user -user download, so you need a special client. BitTorrent was the original, and uTorrent is also very nice. These are the two most popular torrent clients. You can download it. We'll show you the installation right here. Very simple. You can tell it where you want it placed, whether you want to start menu entry, desktop icon, so on. Click Next. You can have it add an exception to the Windows firewall. Click install. And just like that, uTorrent is installed. And when it does, the first time, it brings up an installation setup guide for bandwidth and network. You click run the tests. Checks the network. There's a trial upload, a trial download checks and makes sure that everything is okay. Now for the most part, while there are some other settings, you're going to want to leave these things alone. The only thing you might want to change is where torrent files are saved so that you'll know where they are when you finish a torrent download. Just about done here. I've got two green check marks. It means I'm good and I'm ready to start doing torrent downloads. Keep in mind this is the multiple part series and be sure to watch all of the parts. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit hover.com slash butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.